Good morning, traders. How we doing here? Mitch from Beginner Trading. Just wanted to take a look here at one of the best moving average strategies here. We're going to do an EMA crossover strategy. This is going to be a definitely winning strategy that you guys are going to watch me trade live every single day this next week. Let's go ahead and take a look how we're going to take this trade. What is the moving average crossover strategy? Here we're going to use an exponential moving average crossover strategy. This is a strategy that I've created using three EMAs here. And we're going to go ahead and watch how the crossover works here. You know, this is a using a moving average using trend trade. And this is how we're going to use it. We're going to use it as a reversal indicator here. And let's get down to business. What is a moving average crossover? It's one of the most popular moving average strategies. And it actually consists of three moving averages that we've used here. And the three are the 9 EMA, the 15 EMA, and the 50 EMA. And really what we want to see here is a reversal and trend change. And see that 9 EMA go from swinging up to breaking through the 20s and breaking through the 50 EMA. That's really going to be our signal here. As you can see from that yellow that yellow bar right here, you can see that down move there as we broke through this pattern as we were on a bullish pattern and got that breakdown. All right, let's move forward a little bit here. Now we're going to talk about the strength of the strategy, guys. Okay, the strength of the strategy, guys, here is that it uses multiple averages to determine the trend reversal. As we know, we want to use multiple moving averages here so that we have that intermediate, that long range, the short range, and using all those time frames and moving, using those moving averages, we go ahead and we take this trade. It needs a pattern breakdown or breakdown to enter. So we want to see a pure breakout of a reversal pattern or a breakdown on kind of a long. And the real key here, guys, is we're using a longer time frame. And to use this, we can use a bigger range trading. And when you use a bigger range trading, this is always going to help as you're going to be able to capture bigger profit and use a calculated risk and return. So the rules of entry guys, you know, it must be in a reverse of the major trend. So if we're in a bullish trend, we must see that reversal go short. And then if we're in a short trend, we must see that squeeze happen and the longs come into the market. You know, we use the 9 EMA crossing the 50 EMA as the entry signal. We want to see the break of the pattern. It must happen. This is very important. A lot of traders get in it as soon as it crosses over and they get faked out. What we really want to do is we want to watch the pattern break out and then get in it. Once we get that breakout or breakdown and get in it, that's going to give us the best entry and the best execution of this strategy. So the risk must be measured on the breakdown or the squeeze breakout candle low. So it could be the low or the high, really depending on what side you're trading. But you want to use either that resistance of that candle or the support of that candle as your stop out so that you know, hey, the crossover has happened. The breakdown of the pattern has happened. And now I'm attacking. I'm in this trade and I'm ready to tackle it down. So the reward must be closest to the resistance or the support. And you want to go ahead and measure this out by knowing where the resistance is and knowing where the next support is. You want to go ahead and understand that we must meet a minimum of at least 1 to 1.5 risk and reward. And this is a minimum that we want to take so that we have a mathematical advantage in this trade. All right, traders. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these trades in action. These are practice trades that I use on demand using Thinkorswim. If you want to go ahead and take a look, we have a video. Take a look at the link down below and we'll go ahead and show you how you can use Thinkorswim on demand. But really, this is how I, I tackle and 
practice strategies and you guys are going to see me execute some trades here and how we do the EMA crossover strategy. All right, traders. So with the EMA crossover strategy, we can trade either on a breakout or a breakdown. The real thing that we need to see is that pattern either decide a direction. So the biggest thing you want to do pre-market is know where your stock is looking like. Here we could clearly see the stock is looking bullish. You can draw a downward trending line and a support here. This is what we're going to use to determine when we should get in and out of the trade. Um, we need to see it either break above 80s or break below 1070s with a crossover of the EMAs. Really what we're trying to determine here is a trend. Because if we can determine the trend with the pattern and the EMAs, we should get that continuation so that we can attack and nail this strategy here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see how it opens up and watch for when the action's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit. And as the trade happens, I'll slow it down so that we could take the trade and see how to execute. Here we have the open, guys. What we need to do is we need to relax and wait to see the crossover after the breakout of the pattern. If it's just going to hold within it, then we need to wait to see the crossover happen. And the crossover we want to see is a three crossover line here. So we want to see the swing of the 9 EMA go through the swing of the 50 EMA. We use the 20 to kind of determine where the middle part of the trend is. So right here, as long as the 50 stays below it, it's in a bullish trend. And if the 50 stays above it, it'll be in a bearish trend. And as you see the what we call the second swing here, what we're looking for, guys, is that trend reversal. We're getting that second swing here. We're going to look for the third swing. And if it doesn't continue on breaking out, then we should see that trend reversal. Then we're going to see the pattern breakdown and look to see this 9 EMA, this blue line, this light blue line here, start breaking through the 20 and eventually through the 50 at the pattern breakdown. If it just comes down below 1070, we need to see the 9 eventually break the 50 to really get into here. All right, guys, there we got the third swing up there, third swing up there here to 83s. We should see the continuous breakout here happen, but if it doesn't break out, we can see that breakdown. And that's really what we're looking for here, guys. We're looking for that change in trend. We have this bullish trend here. We're seeing it trying to break out, trying to break out. If it can't get above these 88s, it's not going to be able to extend from the 90 EMA here. And the 90 EMA should start contracting towards the 20 and eventually break through the 50. So let's go ahead and look for that move here. As we see this kind of stop here, um, it's trying to break out there to the 1040s, uh, 1084s, and can't break out there. And you're gonna, we're going to see the swing here. Watch that 9 EMA, take a downturn, cut through the 20, and eventually cutting through the 50. That's the crossover, guys. Now we can clearly see the 9 EMA start heading down towards that 1070 support. Now we need to see volume get in here, confirm, and let the breakdown happen, and the 9 EMA crossover. All right, right here we start seeing that crack at least below the 20, our median trend line. Now we want to see it completely break down to the 50. Quicker action is always going to be better here than slower action. You want it to kind of just head down really quickly down to break that 50. If it doesn't hold that breakage, we don't even want to get in this stock. Remember, we're looking for a trend breakdown here now we've broken down below the 1070 but we didn't break through the 50 EMA if this blue line does not break down through that darker purple line at the bottom there at 1072s then we're not getting into the trade this is very important to understand here we need to see the complete crossover to go ahead and attack this
And there we got it, guys. The crackdown happens right there, guys. Through the 1070s, now you're looking for any kind of pop-up to short into. Your resistance and where your risk is going to be is the last high of that candle, where this candle closed. So 1072 right here is going to be our risk. We do not want it above that 1072. That's where the cross down happened, and that's where the candle closed, and the top of that candle is what we're going to use here. We want to get closer towards it, as we need to get at least a one-to-one -one trade towards the bottom low here. The one-to-one -one trade here is down to the 1062. So you want to at least get yourself up six cents, five cents up here in the 65s, 66 area, and get an entry there. Here's where we'll be looking for that bounce back. It's either going to be usually on the first or second candle. We're looking some kind of bounce back towards back towards the support so that we can go ahead and get an entry here. All right, getting that pop here. We're going to go ahead and get in here. I saw it go up to 10, uh, 1067s, then 1068s. Was able to get in there, 1,000 shares. And now we're looking for... A one-to-one -one move breakdown and breakdown through this 62. Let's go ahead and let it break down through the 62. And as it breaks down through the 62, we look for that 1.5 return and we'll get on out of here. All right. And as we break here, we're making our move towards this 10 cent breakage. We know we risked 6 cents on this trade. So we want to go ahead and get below uh, that six cents. I'm looking for somewhere in the 10 cent range. Here we go breaking through the 56s. This is where I would go ahead and I'll go ahead and buy up here. I'm going to go ahead and take the trade there. Great trade there. Boom. $105 there for only risking 60 cents. And that's really what we want to do, guys, is we want to be able to tackle this down tackle the range this is a range play that we're looking to see the breakdown and hold down towards the next support and take that range here we were able to take a hundred and five dollars on only a sixty sixty dollar risk here and the key here guys was the complete breakdown through the 50 that we got here and as you see the 20 heading down and also breaking through the 50 showing us a really good sign and that's why we went and took the profit here all right traders what do you guys think about the crossover moving strategy here this is definitely a strategy that i want to go ahead and learn how to tackle so i'm going to go ahead and trade it live right in front of you guys you guys definitely stick around watch us every single morning as we start up as early as 8 20 a.m eastern time and that's when you guys can go ahead and get through the gappers list john will be running through the news and everything and i'll be looking to try to tackle this strategy live every single day of the week and you guys can watch me win or lose and get this strategy down packed if you guys want to go ahead and click on the link below that will let you go ahead and see our broker that John and I trade. It's a high quality platform, definitely giving you the opportunity to execute strategies like this with low commission, a course, and everything that you need to get started as a beginner trader. But stick around, like always guys, beginner in, beginner out.